guys so it is time for another food video today we're coming to you from Budva in Montenegro so we found a lovely seaside restaurant after a morning of wandering around the town yeah. and this place is called I'm actually just gonna read the napkin so Yadran Kod Krista yep not entirely sure what that means and, and guys it's just warm enough for us to be outside just barely barely it's probably about 14 degrees if yeah. it was a couple degrees cooler we'd, we'd be, inside be inside with everyone else although it everyone looks, else is inside yeah it looks really nice inside actually they have all these fairy lights and it looks very like rustic and cozy but we figured you know this is probably our last chance to sit out by the seaside have a lovely meal drew a glass of wine so here we are we've already placed our order and we'll show you guys what's coming so guys there is some really underrated wine here in montenegro we're having mm -hmm. the house red and i think it could either be vranitz or cerno and we've tried them both and they've been really good so although for all we know cerno could mean red oh that's really nice yeah just like yeah they've got nice full body powerful reds here in this country and it's just perfect for meat and seafood which is what we've ordered so yeah this is gonna be awesome oh and the price was very reasonable it's only one euro for 100 uh, ml, ml yeah and so of course we got 200 so Two. <laughs> nice big glass each why not right we've got a kitty friend we've got a kitty friend and the meat and fish hasn't arrived yet kitty so you'll have to stick around if you want some of the good stuff we've only got salad right now that's probably not what you're looking for probably not what you're looking for okay so we are going to start things off with a salad we were actually going to order the greek one and he's like no 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 go for the seasonal one it's half price and it's the same ingredients practically <laughs> um so thanks for the tip waiter thanks he's so, a very he's a very friendly fellow yeah so yeah. this one has cucumber it has tomatoes That's and major cheese, cheese is the main ingredient here yeah we basically. really we really mixed that around mm -hmm. the the cheese was actually layered on top mm. not so cheesy <laughs> Cheese tastic. Salty cheese too. Yeah. So it's really good, but also overwhelming. Powerful. Mm -hmm. Powerful stuff. Mm. And I have a cat right here. Yeah. We said hi to cat friend. Where's he cat friend? Is waiting for me. Yeah. Hi, cat friend. Hello, cat. Hello, cat. So, so he's had a little bit of bread yeah. already. Little he's cheese. He's had a little bit of cheese, and now he's waiting for calamari and kebab. <laughs> good kitty. Like, I'm oh, I'm yawning. I'm getting tired. Okay, guys, food is here. The fries are looking a little meager because I already ate half the portion. <laughs> there was a lot more when we started. While I was um, but yeah, Sam took a long time filming, as usual. Yeah. So I ordered myself a kebab mm -hmm. with fries, and it also comes with onions and a spicy sauce. You sure did. Too hot. So we kind of got the best of the meat and the sea because over here I've got. A plate of fried calamari yeah. so yeah let's, let's try yours first though let's try the meat it looks really good let's see oh that does look good mm. oh it's quite juicy is it that is really nice let's put some spice some raw onions in there as well mm. what do you that was think? a good choice i'm pleased Okay, Sam, I am graciously sharing my kebab yeah. with you. And come to think of it, we've had a lot of meat in the Balkans, but we haven't had kebab yet. Yeah. So this is great to be trying it. We've noticed it on the menu in other countries. We've seen it in Bosnia. We've seen it in Croatia. Yeah. This is our first time to try it. And I'm going to take it for a generous wow. swim in that spicy. It looks like a spicy sauce. Yeah. Get a bit of onion going on. Ooh, wow. Mmm. What do you think? 
Wow, that's really good. Sauce gives it a nice kick. Mm -hmm. And I like the meat. It's um, it's actually thicker than I thought it was. It would be. Yeah, it's a thicker cut, but it's super juicy. It's so a thicker I do like cut. That. It's really juicy. It's got a nice flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Well, you can tell that they haven't added too much seasoning, which is kind yeah. of nice. I think your uh, your dad would approve of that. That's the yes, Argentine way. Yes, he would. I must try the must try the fry here. Yeah, I should mention that mm. the fries aren't exactly a, a traditional meal, but it comes with a free side. And he said we could either get potatoes with spinach, mm -hmm. which is, I think, what we had with our seafood at the other restaurant That's right. in Couture. So we were so like, we're all right, like, let's do fries We haven't had fries in a while. We were kind of craving it. Yeah. We've been walking around all day. So yeah. we went for probably the higher, higher calorie option. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, this is good. They start to the meal. And I can't wait for the seafood because that is what I'm excited about most. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks so good. Fried calamari and wow. <laughs> and wow, with like, a side of wow. <laughs> I just, I, I grew up in Canada on the West Coast, so I grew up eating a lot of fish and seafood. And the rest of my relatives on my mom's side were on Atlantic Canada on the East Coast. So I grew up like just eating seafood on both sides of Canada and it just, it feels comfortable for me and very familiar to be eating this. Comfort food. This is my comfort food. So I'm getting a, a nice big piece here to try. And we had the oh. option of ordering the calamari grilled, oh fried, or stuffed. I went for fried and it's battered, obviously. Um, this is my happy place. Like that kebab is really good, but this is just, for me, for, for my personal, like my, my personal taste, mm -hmm. this just like hits the spot in so many ways. It's done really well. You can tell that they, they specialize in seafood here, yeah. this restaurant. Um, so my recommendation, if you're someone who likes seafood, would be to try something like this at this restaurant. They, they're just, they've nailed it. It's really good. All right, so this is a little bit of a difficult moment for me because I, don't, I don't really feel like sharing my oh. seafood. I like it that much, okay, but let's see. I'll let you try it, Audrey. I'm not sure if I've had calamari before, to be honest. Have I had calamari? Could this be your first time? I think it may be. Mm. You like oh, it? Oh wow. That's quite soft. Yeah, it's very For soft. For some reason, I was expecting it to be a little more chewy. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty good. Do you like the batter on it? Like, is that, is mm -hmm. that something you enjoy? Yeah. Mm, it's nice. And this. It's it like a tartar of, sauce. It kind of looks like tartar sauce at first glance, but it's mostly mayo. I think it's like a homemade. It's yeah, it's I'm more <laughs> It's it's more of a mayo-based tartar sauce, but it's mm -hmm. still good. Tr have you tr tried dunking it in there? It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. That's a big swim. Oh my, oh my. That's a big Ooh, swim. and now I have a hair in it. How does that happen? <laughs> I'm sure it's just yours. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's good. That's good it's good stuff. Not bad. It's a decent meal here in Budva. Like we've mentioned earlier, this isn't the biggest foodie city, um, but you can get a decent meal. And um, yeah, it's just Montenegro doesn't seem to have a lot of like traditional recipes. Like we had read about this um, lamb cooked in milk, yeah. which apparently actually originates in Albania, but it's like a national dish here. Yeah. We haven't been able to find it in a single restaurant. Yeah, that's so, true. But yeah, we've been just enjoying kind of basic pizzas, seafood, yeah, things seafood. like that. But for, so, yeah. for me personally, like to have this, this fried calamari is really mm. tasty. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you're right. It just, it's not, uh, compared to some other countries, it doesn't have as, as many options. It's not options. a very strong cuisine, yeah. That's true. But as a visitor here, you can find Greek, you can find Turkish, you can find yeah. Italian. It's very much international and like a lot of familiar stuff on the menu as well. That's true. So yeah, those would be my impressions of the food scene in Montenegro overall. Yep. Agreed. Look at how many friends we have here. Four cats eating a little bit of kebab and calamari. I don't think the restaurant's gonna be too impressed when they find all the food underneath the table. Oh well, no, they're, they're, they're cleaning it up well. Go kitties, go kitties, go. Well, we've just been hanging out for a little while, but we decided yes. to get dessert. What did we get? One dessert to share. So Sam was really in the mood for tiramisu, so we went for something Italian. Yeah. They didn't have that many options on the menu. It was either seasonal fruit, Ice pancakes, cream, pancakes, or, or this. Tiramisu. So, as you can see, the layers of lady fingers. Yeah. Do you call them that? I think lady so. Lady fingers with cream in between. Lots of cocoa powder. Let's see how we do. Ooh, nice big bite, huh? Mm. What do you think? Mm. Good stuff. I do like that. Do you like it? Mm. Of course you do. 
Of yeah. course you do. It doesn't have that strong of a coffee flavor. It's more chocolatey, which I don't mind. Mmm. It's good stuff. We're wrapping things up. Yeah, it's that time of the meal where we're done, we're full. So in total, price point, I came to 26 euros. Mm -hmm. That included two really big glasses of wine, a nice bread basket, a really nice salad to share, two mains and a dessert to share. So mm -hmm. I thought that was excellent value. The food was quite good. The setting was just incredible. And our waiter was really fun and friendly. And so it was just, just a really nice experience. We had a really lovely time here. Mm -hmm. We'd recommend you come here for sure. So that's it. Ta-ta.